Jonathan Bailey had to hide a part of his life for years. If he wanted any auditions, he was told he'd better pretend to be straight. This terrible advice came from people in power whom he trusted. I think things stop when things are dishonest and things can't progress. I think the truer the better. As the romantic lead in Netflix's Bridgerton, Jonathan totally nailed his role. He is openly gay off screen, yet you'd be none the wiser when you watch his performance. Many fans were blown away by his skills. The chemistry he has with his female co-stars could have fooled me. Great acting. Gay or not, who cares? He's a fabulous actor and that counts. Despite Bailey's obvious talent, working as a gay man in the film and theatre industry was tough. Even after all his success, both on stage and in film, Bailey still feels less than. I don't think I'll ever know where I fit in in terms of society because it's ever-changing. Bailey came out to his friends and family in his early 20s, but then it took another decade before he stopped hiding it from the world. Jonathan had to live with a lie because those who should have had his back didn't. In his early career, he overheard advice given to an actor friend. There's two things we don't want to know, if you drink too much or if you're gay. Bailey clung to that piece of advice and remained in the closet for the sake of his career. The tragic part is that these conversations actually came from gay men. There's a sense of shame, I think, that's palpable throughout gay men in the industry. As a young actor, Bailey was eager to get auditions, so of course he took the advice to heart. Yet the misguided counsel nearly ruined his career and personal life. Hiding his sexuality made his anxiety unbearable. The actor even began to believe the biggest lie, that to be happy, he had to be straight. Until the day when Jonathan reached a point where he'd had enough. I'd much prefer to hold my boyfriend's hand in public or be able to put my own face picture on Tinder and not be so concerned about that than getting apart. Coming out publicly was the best decision he'd ever made. Before too long, Bailey was cast in Bridgerton. The actor praised Jonathan for giving him equal opportunity in casting, and now his future is looking brighter by the day. Although unconfirmed, there are even rumors that he might be the next Bond. Both fans and the current Bond cast would be ecstatic to see Jonathan shaken, not stirred. I really believe that we should be working towards a world where anyone can play anything. After he stopped hiding his sexual orientation, Johnny took on roles he would never have considered before. Directors used to warn his casting agents that being part of any sort of gay storyline would harm Bailey's career. But exactly the opposite happened when Jonathan played a queer character in a highly acclaimed musical. He won a prestigious award for his performance in the West End revival of Company. More importantly, he found his voice. We have been able to, as a company, show a lovely and a celebratory snapshot of gay love, that LGBT people really aren't that different. We're not that different. We are just as anxious and we're just as flawed and desperate to fall in love as everyone else. Jonathan doesn't try and hide his sexuality for the sake of his career anymore. However, he still prefers to keep his love life private, and he has every right to do so. It took Bailey years to discard the bad advice that was being spread by people in power. But once he did, he committed fully and his courage paid off. You'll find your tribe, and your tribe is there for you, no matter who you are. Ultimately, um, you will get the luxury of choice in who you spend your time with. Now Jonathan is a powerful voice for other young LGBTQ plus actors, who might just be hearing the same shameful messages he once did. Jonathan's story is a lesson for everyone. Be fearlessly yourself. You don't know who you're inspiring.